What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 2022. This is our very first video and I wanna thank all our viewers, our subscribers, our Patreon supporters, those who follow us on Instagram and Facebook and Rumble. Thank you so much, we truly appreciate you. And like I said before, this is our first video of 2022 and what better way to ring in the new year than with a 4K video monitor review. And we all know LG makes great 4K TVs. They're spectacular. But today, we're gonna to take a look at an LG 32 inch 4K monitor. We're gonna unbox it, set it up, test it, and review it. If you're in the market for a 4K monitor, there are quite a few things to consider before pulling the trigger. For instance, we all know bigger is better. That's what she said. <laughs> and monitor size is important. However, the larger the monitor, the bigger the price tag. And of course, large monitors need lots of space. And you should also consider the monitor type. There are four types, VA, TN, IPS, and IGZO. VA panels and TN panels are great for beginners because of the simple features and affordable price range. And these panels do deliver fast response times. But these panels do make compromises when it comes to color accuracy in images. IPS panels produce sharper images and better color reproduction, but have a slower response time than VA panels and TN panels. And if you're a gamer, stay away from IPS panels. And lastly, IGZO, which is not really a panel type, but rather a display technology. And we'll talk about IGZO in a different video. And a couple more things to consider is refresh rate, response times, color accuracy, display brightness, and G-Sync or FreeSync capabilities. This LG 4K monitor is an entry level 32 inch 4K UHD monitor. And unlike most LG monitors, it uses a VA panel, which delivers 90% DCI P3 coverage. The 32 UP50S has built-in Waves Max audio stereo speakers, which is convenient if you don't have external speakers. And this monitor also includes an audio out for headphones. And for gamers, this supports AMD FreeSync, as well as LG's proprietary gaming features, such as Dynamic Action Sync and Black Stabilizer. One of the few downsides for this monitor is that it comes with a simple stand with only tilt adjustment there is no vertical adjustment. However, this monitor is compatible with 100 by 100 millimeter VESA mounts. And another downside to this monitor, it does not have a built-in camera. However, webcams are pretty cheap, so for me, this is not a deal breaker. So right out the gate, the first thing I noticed about this monitor was the bezel-less design, which makes this monitor very attractive. And this monitor weighs less than 15 pounds which makes moving the monitor very easy. Let's take a quick look at the back of the LG monitor. This monitor comes with two HDMI 2.0 ports and one display port 1.4, a DC power connection, and a 3.5 millimeter audio out. Installing the monitor mount is very simple. The monitor bracket simply snaps into the back of the monitor and the monitor stand attaches to the monitor bracket and is secured with the attached screw. Just turn to the right until it's tight. And the installation method is the same for the LG 32 UP50S as well as the LG 32 UP50SB. And since both of these monitors are identical except for the name, this review covers both models. So now that we've attached the stand, let's go ahead and connect it to our computer. And we're gonna connect this monitor using the DisplayPort option instead of the HDMI. And you're probably wondering why I chose this option. Well, DisplayPorts offer higher bandwidth, which will drastically reduce screen tearing. Because of its three to one compression ratio, you'll experience a lossless screen quality that makes complex tasks like 4K video or gaming look amazing. We're gonna test this monitor in two different ways. First, we're gonna watch 4K video on my PC and then we'll connect my monitor to the PS5 and test a few games. The menu button is located right underneath the LG logo. And there's five menus in the settings. There's quick settings, input, picture, 
sound, and general. So now let's go ahead and start with some 4K video. So first thing I want to talk about is the color and the sharpness of the picture. In comparing the monitor on the left, that's a Samsung 1080p. And there is a clear difference. The LG is much sharper, it's clear, and the colors are bright and vibrant. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the music in the background. And yes, they're coming from the speakers from the monitor. Not bad. I have to say the detail is amazing. For a budget 4K monitor under $300, and with the screen size of 32 inches, this monitor performed way better than I thought it would. And once again, comparing it to the 1080p, it's not even close. And to be honest, if there's some color loss, I can't really tell. The only way I could tell was to compare it to something else. But from my standpoint, this looks superb. So now let's go ahead and plug the monitor into the PS5. And we'll play a few games. Alright, first game up is Call of Duty. Let's see how smooth it plays. Yeah, I gotta say, it plays very smooth. It's very responsive. During fast movements, there's definitely some distortion. You can see the distortion on the gun when it moves fast. But all in all, it's pretty impressive. I'm really used to playing this game on a 65 inch screen TV. So going to the smaller screen is pretty impressive. Quite a bit more detailed. Now let's go ahead and try some Gran Turismo. This game should put this monitor to a real test. On this game, I definitely noticed that the colors are not as bright. While the images are sharp, we're definitely getting some color loss. Don't get me wrong, the game still looks great. Even with the color loss on this game, it still looks great. And I definitely want to mention the speakers. They sound great. Now, you're not going to get a lot of bass out of these speakers, but for monitor speakers, they sound very good. So guys, what are the pros and cons of this 4K monitor? Well first, let's go over the pros. This monitor is a 10-bit display panel, and I like that a lot. It does have some rich colors, and I love the high contrast, and the built-in speakers sound pretty good. And because this monitor is a VA panel, it has a fast response time, which is great for gaming. Now on to the cons. The monitor stand has no vertical adjustments. It can only tilt and this monitor does not have a camera. But outside of that, I can't find anything else I don't like about it. It's got everything I need for gaming or for doing 4K video. And for the price of $300, it's a steal. And guys, there'll be a link in the description below to where you can buy this monitor. And like I said before, this reviews for both models, the 32UP50S and the 32UP50SB. They're the exact same model. And guys, I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And also, make sure to follow us on Instagram. We're going to do some giveaways in about 3 or 4 months. So guys, don't forget, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video real soon.